In this problem, the following data related to orthogonal cutting of my little part. Cutting speed is given 195 meters per meter. Tool rake angle 12 degree, width of cut 1.75 millimeter, uncut uh, thickness 0.25 millimeter, average coefficient of friction between the tool and the jeep 0.52, the shear stress of work material 385 newton per square millimeter, calculate uh, shear angle, cutting and thrust component of the Machining force. Okay. Okay. The first question to find the shear plane angle the five. Five. In this situation, we are going to determine the shear plane angle using the Ernest Merton theory. According to the Ernest Merton theory, shearing will take place in the direction in energy required for shearing is minimum. So what it means? By minimizing the power, we can obtain the equation for the shear plane angle. The 5 is equal 5 divided by 4 minus lambda minus alpha friction angle minus alpha divided by 2. That means this equation we are deriv deriving by minimizing the total power. That means the power equation is equal to Fc into Vc. This equation we can write using the tau uh, Bt, the shear stress. Uh, the, this equation we can write using uh, in this way, the phi u cos uh, beta minus alpha divided by cos uh, phi plus beta minus alpha into uh, cutting velocity Vc. By derivating this uh, here the P is a function of phi. Total power is a function of phi. So by derivating power with respect to phi we can determine the minimum P and we can determine the 5 which gives minimum p value so this is the 5 which gives the minimum p value so in that way we can determine uh, using this equation we are, we are going to determine the shape and angle okay then this is the equation the we are going to substitute the values the 5 divided by 4 because shearing take place which energy required for shearing is minimizes so, we are going to use this equation, lambda, friction angle, lambda is equal uh, tan inverse mu, the mu is given 0 0.52 minus alpha, alpha is given 12 degree divided by, so then the 5 we can determine the 5 is equal 37.25 degree this is how we are determine the 5 then the problem also asking cutting force and thrust component have to find okay, let's see how to find the cutting force and thrust force second part of the problem first of all we need to determine the shear force Shear force acting along this uh, shear plane. Let me uh, draw the clear view for this one. Here, this is the removing chip. The shear force acting along this direction, it face. This angle is equal to phi u. Here the material yield shear stress is given 385 newton per square millimeter. So then the shear failure occur in along this direction. So then we can calculate the shear force required for this uh, shear failure. What is the shearing area? Let's take this area as A. 
the tau into a is the shear force tau into a is the shear force because shear in failure occur in this direction in a cross sectional area this area is a so the shear force is equal tau into a in this problem the a here this dimension is given this dimension is equal uh, let's take uh, 0.25 then the width of cut also given 1.75 so this a dash area we can calculate a dash area we can calculate from the a dash if you know the a dash we can calculate the a so what is the relationship a is equal a dash is equal a sin phi a sin phi here what is a dash so then uh, a is equal a dash divided by sin phi so then a we can calculate a is equal what is a dash plus 0.25 into this is the width of cut into 1.75 be the area for a dash divided by sin phi here already we have calculated the phi value the shear plane angle 37.25 degree so then the total a area we can calculate from this uh, equation that is equal to 0.7 2 to 8 square millimeter square millimeter so then the shear force we can calculate then we are able to calculate the shear force fs is equal fs is equal tau 385 newton per square millimeter into what is our area 0.7228 so then we are getting the answer in newton that value is equal shear force value is equal 278.3 278.3 newton okay then we are able to calculate uh, if you know the shear force we can calculate the r value we are having the equation fs shear force is equal r sorry yeah, r into cos uh, 5 plus lambda minus alpha okay. using this equation we are we are able to determine the r so r is equal what is fs 278.3 divided by cos 45 37.25 plus lambda lambda is equal uh, we have determined the lambda tan inverse uh, 0.52 tan inverse uh, 0.52 minus uh, alpha alpha is equal to 12 degree so then r we can cal calculate the resultant force of the uh, cutting force and the thrust force that is equal to 459.78 newton sorry r if you know the r then we are able to calculate the fc if you know the r we are able to calculate the fc fc is equal we have the equation fc is equal r cos lambda minus alpha see the equation to determine the fc r 459.78 into cos uh, lambda yeah i'll write in here r 459.78 cos uh, lambda tan inverse 0.52 minus 12 degree 
So then uh, we are able to calculate if C that is equal to 443.06 Newton. Okay. The same way we are able to calculate the F T that is equal to R sin sin uh, into lambda minus alpha or 459.78 into sin tan inverse 0 0.52 minus 12 degree so ft we are getting 122.5 8.7 Newton